originally got involved through my friendship with Quinn, uh, who uh, asked me to get involved. But then I became cast in Looking and played HRE positive character Eddie Bear on the show, and then really got involved, which eventually led to me becoming an ambassador. And, and even though Looking is uh, canceled and we have the movie coming out, I feel like this is the beginning of my advocacy. Like, I am more impassioned than ever. I, what surprised me when I started that role was the stuff that I didn't know. Um, I consider myself to be an educated uh, gay male who was, who's, con who's writes for uh, a gay publication and is on a gay show. I should know a lot of these things, especially because I was playing an HR positive character. But I didn't realize that the medication was only one pill. I didn't realize um, how effective PrEP was. Um, and when I realized what I didn't know, that's when I became vocal in order to teach other people. When I got the role in Looking, I was informed by GLAAD that I was the first HIV positive character on television in years. And they feel, along with ETAF, that a lack of representation in the media is what is part partially contributing to a rise in new infections. I definitely think there must be people out there that think that I'm HIV positive. I don't think that that's something that necessarily bothers me. Um, I. Um, if anything, it would just help to uh, erase stigma and release stigma. If people are Googling that about me, maybe it might lead to them learning something. People need to know that these resources are available to them. They need to know um, that they could become undetectable. I think there's a lot of information out there that just is not known due to the lack of it being a quote-unquote sexy item in Hollywood or, or in the media or anything else. Education is of the utmost priority, not only in the gay community, but everywhere. And I think that just in casual conversation that I've had, and I'm, you know, socialized with many gay people, um, uh, and I feel like even in casual conversation, I've changed a lot of people's minds, or I've discussed a lot of things, and have put a lot of information out there, and I think that's what it is. It's engaging in conversation. It's continuing to tweet and Instagram and Facebook about these subjects. Now that people are living longer, healthier lives in this state of treatment, um, I think that people just seem to have a laissez-faire sort of attitude about the entire thing. And what they don't realize is the cost of staying in treatment and the toll that it takes on one's body. The, the one thing that I feel like is my uh, strongest concern is for the youth of this country. I mean, when we live in a country where we have the tools to eradicate the disease by 96%, um, there's no reason that our young people should not only be one of the highest risk groups, but also one of the biggest groups that don't even know that they are HIV positive. So it's an extremely important thing for me.